a lot of companies now are starting to release their uh, API for developers uh, making applications on top of Bitcoin. And like just in the past week or past two weeks, we've seen a bunch of um, companies releasing APIs. Coinbase has released their API called Toshi. Uh, this company called Chain has released their own API and they have venture funding from people like Barry Silbert and Pantera Capital. Um, this company called BlockCypher has released an API that uses multi-signature to increase security. And this company called Gem has released an API that also does security. They raised $2 million from a bunch of different investors, including First Round Capital. And BitPay has released their own API for developers. So we see a bunch of like companies that have already gotten their success, basically, in the case of BitPay and Coinbase. They have had huge success in the past year, and they're trying to give back to the community by creating these APIs, which um, basically make it easier for developers to interact with the blockchain. If you want to make an app, you don't have to necessarily learn um, all of the intricacies of, of the blockchain and, and, and how to... Um, how to utilize Bitcoin transactions on a basic level, you have an API that kind of does that for you, so you can focus on making the apps on top of it. Um, I, I'm not I'm not totally versed in this, but it sounds like a pretty good analogy would be like when um, you know when the iPhone first came out and they didn't have user made apps or even develop you know independently made apps for the iPhone then after a year or so after people started doing it anyway and releasing it on like jailbroken iPhones Apple released an API for developers to uh, you know to make apps on on the iPhone where you don't necessarily have to understand the basic underworkings and technical stuff of, of the iPhone you just have to have programming skills to make your actual app you don't have to necessarily hire someone who you know is a Bitcoin expert you can just focus on making your apps and like there's a there's a whole host of API's now for you to choose from which everyone is the best option for whatever kind of app you're trying to make whether you need security whether you need something that automates payments between addresses um, or whatever it is you can just choose the best one and go with that and just make your app on top of it and I believe I think like a good number of these apps are just free to use some might cost money for developers to use but that's a pretty that's a pretty good development um, make it easier for developers to make apps because that's that's like one of the main things that I see in potential in Bitcoin is all the multitude of possible apps that can be made on top of the first programmable currency um, so you know hopefully we see a lot of developers um, utilizing this and building stuff on top of it I mean we could see a lot of problems with Bitcoin being solved you know just from that right because you know because then we can you know bring in a lot of developers to make applications maybe not you know needed changes to the actual you know core protocol but things maybe you know some some more short-term fixes or something uh, just because it's easier to develop now. Um, right. I don't know, maybe I'm not understanding that correctly. Maybe that's not the right yeah, kind of it's, applications that can be developed. Yeah, but. it's not going to fix mining centralization, that's for sure, because they can't change the core protocol. But it will create um, you know, brand new financial instruments for people to manip manipulate their Bitcoin with. Um, like, I, I'm still... I've been waiting to like make I've been thinking about like making my own website for this but like someone needs to create a service where uh you just have like a list of popular bitcoin addresses where you can send money to like a list of charities and then like a list of merchants and you know a bunch of people where you can send money to or and then like a game section or something like with that includes seals with clubs and then just from one app or one website, you can have this list of like popular addresses to send to and, you know, send bitcoins to whoever you need to. It's like it's like an address book that's preloaded with all the places that you might necessarily want to send your money to. Simple idea, but like no one's I don't know, maybe I haven't found it yet, but no one seems to have made something like that. And like okay. that will be a lot easier to make in a in an efficient way and innovative way. 
um, by using you know one of these APIs probably. Yeah, that would be really cool it, um, if it was customized too. Like you'd have a default set of addresses, uh, like you know suggested places you could you know donate to or buy the services. Uh, but then also you could like you know add your own, customize your address list, maybe, you know, share with other people. Yeah. You know, that could be like a cool little social network to, you know, grow yeah. uh, businesses. Maybe be even creepy. like, uh, you know, have a favorite option. So you can favorite certain addresses and keep them in your, you know, favorites tab. And, you know, yeah, add in the social network aspect and maybe people could review certain addresses and say, oh, yeah, this is a really great charity. You know, they, uh, you know, I'm sure that Sean's outpost would get a lot of great reviews. You know, they, they use the Bitcoins directly to help the homeless people in Florida and they're building like a, a great new facility for housing the homeless and, you know, educating them and, and building skills for the homeless so they can improve their lives. And like, you know, that would be in an in a review or for it, or at least a description, you know, uh, and it would get like, you know, 4.8 stars out of five, you know, it, it could be like the Yelp for Bitcoin addresses. I was just about to say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that, that would be cool if that existed. And um, it's just, an, that's kind of an, an idea I've been toying with for, for the past couple of weeks. I, I was thinking about making a website to accomplish that, but um, that costs money. I'm not sure if, if I want to do that right now, but um, someone should, someone should definitely make that. And, um, I mean, that's just, that's just a random idea that just consolidates, you know, different um, aspects of the industry that already exist and kind of combining them into like a convenient, easy to use place. There's tons of other possibilities that can be made on top of these APIs. It's kind of, it's really kind of ridiculous. The, the sky is the limit and uh, people just got to use their imaginations to build brand new financial instruments that could, you know, never existed before and you know, definitely, you know, legacy financial institutions are not going to implement anything like that anytime soon. Um, so that's, that's what cryptocurrencies enable. And finally, we're, we're starting to see the beginnings of, you know, that crazy app potential.